Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Say hi, puppy. <laughs> we are in Cincinnati. Let me actually put you down. We are in Cincinnati right now because Azariah has an MRI tomorrow. And um, we're at an Airbnb. We're not doing anything fun today because it's five o'clock and Azariah goes to bed at like 6.30. So we are gonna have to chill. However, we got an awesome Airbnb. Thanks to Craig. He um, found this Airbnb and we knew that we wouldn't be able to like go out and do anything past six. So we wanted to be able to have something where you know we're not just like sitting and super, you know what I mean? We wanna have something to do. So he booked this Airbnb with this really nice outdoor patio and I will give you a full Airbnb tour now. Anyway, if you guys are wondering why Azariah is getting an MRI, it's just routine. Um, he gets one every couple of months. So, um, and he actually hasn't had one since he was a month old. He's supposed to get them every couple of months, but because of COVID and everything, we just haven't um, been able to have one. So, we're doing it now at eight months, almost nine months old, and we're expecting everything to be fine and the results to be great, but um, yeah. Yes. He actually did fine on the way here. He was a little bit fussy the last hour. It's about three and a half hours here. He was a little bit fussy the last hour, but he did okay other than that. Slept an hour and a half in the car. So, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Bob. Yeah. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to take you guys along with me tomorrow, along with us tomorrow when we're... Um, like at his appointments and stuff, but we'll obviously keep you updated and everything um, And we're hoping that this the whole process goes smoothly because his Appointment his MRI is actually at the exact time when he starts normally starts his first nap So it's gonna be kind of hectic and a little bit crazy, but we're gonna go with the flow Go with the flow Go with the flow. Are you pulling your ears because you're tired? Yeah, he's tired Good morning guys. We had um, one heck of a night. As beautiful and nice as this Airbnb is, and I would love to stay in it again, it got so hot in there, in the room. It was our fault because we shut the door to the bedroom and like it was just our fault, but I slept maybe like two hours total. And Azariah woke up at 5.30. Azariah has been fussy all morning. One, because he woke up so early, and two, because he his stomach just hurts a little bit. So we're dealing with that and it was just like a heck of a morning trying to figure out all the things that we needed to do, needed to get together, and we're both starving. So we're going to go to Brugger's Bagels. If you are from Cincinnati and you know what I'm talking about, you know how delicious these bagels are. They were, when I was in the hospital, every single time, pretty much every single time Craig came um, and like spent a few days in the hospital with me each morning, not every single time, right? It was like one one day out of the yeah. couple days that you came. Yeah. He went and got us Brugger's bagels because it was within walking distance from the hospital that was at, I was at. And I just have been craving one ever since. So that is one very good thing about Cincinnati is Brugger's bagels. 
Nazarite's appointment as at, is at 9.30. Mm -hmm. 9.30. The difficult thing about that is that his first nap is usually around 9.15. So we're gonna see how this is gonna go. We've been trying to figure out if he, like if he sleeps an hour before or 45 minutes before, if that'll hold him over and he'll just have to have like four or five naps today, which would be crazy, but we're just making it work. Dun dun dun. It looks even more glorious in person, I promise. Also, that hospital right here, that is the hospital that I stayed at for 54 days that I had Azariah at and that God did like tons of miracles at. He also did them at Cincinnati. Both of those hospitals are incredible, but it's just cool seeing it like again. I'll never go in that hospital again because I don't have a reason to. Because Cincinnati is where every, uh, it's Children's is where everything happened. But if you're one of my nurses and you watch my channel, I love you guys so much. And I do actually miss you a lot because you guys had such an important role in everything that. Basically the reason why I was like okay that whole time and yeah. Hi Bobby. Bobby only had a 20 minute nap. 20 minute nap, but that's better than nothing. Right. You excited to go show everyone your big smart brain? Yeah. Oh. Big smart brain, big smart brain. Also, the shoes. The shoes. Can you say mama? You're gonna be big and bold and strong and you're gonna do so well in the MRI. I'm checked. Right. Okay, he just went back and um, we're not obviously back there with him, but he's gonna do great and he's gonna be super smooth, super quick. I'm just worried about him being so tired and yeah. cranky in there. It's only five minutes, so. Yeah, it's a five minute scan, which is super awesome, because if it was a normal MRI, we have to be in there for like an hour, that would be awful. So grateful that it's only five minutes. But um, um, um right after this, well, not right after, what time is it? 9.37. Oh wow, they're doing it early. Uh -huh. um, at 11, we have a follow up with a neurosurgeon. So he's gonna look the, over the scans and everything, and look at his scar and some other stuff, so. He didn't even cry. And his MRI, he just, I heard him like talking the whole time, but she came back and said that he did amazing, except he started to cry when he came back, like when I, when I, as soon as he saw as us, as soon as he saw me, yeah, as soon as, as soon as she gave him to me, he started to cry. W, you are, how is here we go, staining your white shirt. Why is this so hard to zoom in and out? Oh, there we go. She did say, though, that when she came back, she was like, sorry, I had to show him off to all my friends. <laughs> of course. Of course she did. How can you not? So we're rewarding with a strawberry. And I asked, I ordered a small coffee, and she gave me a large or extra large, so it's a good day. He's actually never had a strawberry before, so... <laughs> Loving it. You didn't know me? Craig is giving him an ice cube. It's hard to hold on to, huh? <laughs> it doesn't have a taste. <laughs> We're about to go into the consultation with the neurosurgeon and obviously you can see that we have to change his clothes. This is from Strawberries. It says Cincinnati Children's Rocks. So, but they're gonna look at his scar and everything so we're not changing him until they look. Hi. You may be seen by the doctor and him tell you how big strong your brain is. 
yet. Ouch. Um. He's also so tired, uh -huh. and I am so shaky because I haven't had enough water or food today. You kitten daddy. He doesn't play around, he grabs things. I think he made my lip bleed. Uh oh. But what are you beating mommy for? Mama, mama. What? Mama, mama. Yeah, I love mama. you. I love you too, but. <laughs> you want to tell the camera? How do you feel? Mm. Yeah? yeah? Me too. Mm. Me too. Hey, update. Bobby's getting his bottle before we're in the car. I don't know why it looks like that. It's very interesting. So, would you like to update the people? Yeah, he was so... Bobby, that's not how you hold your bottle, sir. He was very impressed with his mobility, his strength, and his like, legs. Like, kept saying, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Craig said, we're really blessed, and he would say, and he said, I'd say so. And his ventricles did grow, but... Still well within the safe range. Mm -hmm. He also says though that like as 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 Azari's head grows, his ventricles are going to get bigger with his brain. Oh, yeah. So not a concern. He said not a concern at all. He just they're just going to continue to watch him until he's well past a year. But our next appointment is right around when he's a year old. Yeah. So. Praise Jesus for that, honestly. And we had some questions about his scar, and he pretty much debunked those questions like right away. He yeah. was he was not concerned yeah. at all with any of the things that we were potentially concerned about, which is really reassuring. And he said again, you guys, that he you know he can't tell us definitively that Azariah will never develop hydrocephalus, but he said that he strongly believes that it's probably not gonna happen so yeah, and he also said like regarding his mobility he said oh yeah most you know mmc repairs spina bifida kids with spina bifida if they ever walk it's not usually till around the two two year mark and he said with his strength and everything that it should be well before well, well before that because so. he kind of got him to stand a little bit and was like Oh my goodness, and was asking about if he could feel his feet, did all the reflex tests, and he did amazing on every single one of those. And you know, when you're a neurosurgeon who says, one, who says that he had a really big defect, like his defect is pretty large. <laughs> um, he said his defect is really large, but he's so impressed, and the fact that Azariah is like gonna walk before two years and everything is really awesome. What are you doing? He's so tired, you guys. He has not, he slept 20 minutes today total and it's noon right and now. And he's been up since what? It's 5 a.m. Yeah. So we're gonna sleep the whole way home, right, Bobby? Yeah, you better, huh? Okay, friends. It is now like 7.30 and I just put Azariah to bed. This evening has been pretty dysfunctional but I'm not trying, I'm trying not to like worry about it at all because the day was so good that like it really doesn't matter. But this is, this is the mess that I have to clean up right here. Azariah, um, Craig was fixing the uh, dishwasher. Craig was fixing the dishwasher and he was using the air compressor, compressor, compress, air compressor and it was loud so we, had dinner out here and Azariah decided that he didn't want dinner anymore so he threw his plate on the ground. So I have to come clean that up and then all of the other things. Oh, I totally forgot to mention in a lot of other videos that um, I actually have a stress fracture in my second, I think it's called like the second metatarsal bone or something like that in my foot. So I haven't been having to wear a boot. I don't currently have it on because I was sitting for a while. but. Yeah, I have a boot that I have to wear. It's extremely unfortunate, but um, I I don't feel great when I'm not wearing the boot. 
but I've only had it for, it's been like exactly a week almost. Craig, what are you doing? Are you meal prepping? Making us dinner. Oh, you're making us dinner? <laughs> this is my makeshift dinner. I like it. You know what? I uh, think that looks pretty darn good. Okay. I, I, what is it? So this is sweet potato, or no. I threw an audible and I didn't pack this. I packed broccoli instead so we could eat this tonight. Oh, really good. you're sweet. Okay, but it's sweet potatoes, chickpea, gluten-free pasta, and um, organic free-range ground beef. So, And I'm assuming we're having acai bowls as well? For dessert. For dessert. Okay. Look at that. Get you a man who makes you a dinner even if it's a dysfunctional dinner. Also, Azariah had a bath. Oh, you already took care of it. Azariah had a bath and I filled it too full. Well, first of all, First of all, put them in the put them in the sink for a bath, and uh, there was dishes in the other side of the sink, which was my fault. And one of the dishes was a blender that had like remnants of prunes and water, and he flipped it into the side of the bathtub with him or the sink with him. So I had to quickly get him out, soaking wet. I'm soaking wet now, and then I had to refill it up. And then he decided he wanted to <laughs> splash water all over the floor. So that's why that's there. This has just been an interesting night, but an amazing day. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go clean up that stuff that I have to clean out outside. We're gonna eat dinner. We're gonna watch 90 Day Fiance, cuddle, and go to bed. Cause we're both exhausted. Any last words? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your continued prayers for Azariah. Another. Whoa. Another day of literal miracles in the book, and we can't wait. We just know that, like, imagine what one year is going to be. Like, when he, when we go back at his one-year birthday for an MRI and all of the things that he has to have, like, that will truly be amazing as well. So, yeah. Remember to love God, love yourself, and love people, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!